<laughs> Good morning. Hi. Welcome. My name is Kelly. Thank you for showing up. It is time to work out. Let's start. Reach up overhead and stretch. Hands on your thighs, round your back, lower down. Inhale, reach up and stretch. Look up at your hands. Exhale, hands on your thighs, round your back, lower down. Inhale and reach up again. Do it again. One more time. Inhale and reach. And then swing your arms side to side. Right there. Warming up the trunk. And I'll set our timer. Perfect 10 warm up, perfect 10 moves in a warm up. So roll your shoulders back, separate your feet about hip width, turn your toes out just slightly, and bend at your hips, then your knees, and squat. Initiate the squat at the hips. Right there. Sink down. Keep your knees straight. Press into your feet to stabilize your body. Yep. Squat down and push through, lift up. Down and then up. Squat, push through the floor. Drive through your heels. Now take it to a reverse, a reverse lunge right here. Curl your vice up. Step back and lower your knee toward the, to the floor. Just hover, don't touch the floor. Control the movement. Just lower the knee. Good. Looking forward. Don't look down. Look up here. Lunge. Lunge. Let's take it to the side. Right there. Take it over. So the program today is a hybrid training program. We are going to be on the clock for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest between. We'll go through strength training. A strength training eight round superset and then we'll go right into cardio and then core work and then we'll do that again all right so now take it down to the floor lizard with rotation so foot on the floor hand on the floor reach up and then underneath point your elbow to the floor reach up and then bring it under bring it up and reach underneath Lift up and under, reach, bring it under. Good job, lift up, underneath. Now let's change sides, opposite foot forward, hand on the floor, reach up and bring the arm underneath, point your elbow to the floor, right there. Lift up, open up the shoulder, press into your fingers, lift, lower, reach up and then point your elbow down, lift up, do it again, reach up, opening up the chest, turning at the torso, coming into, onto your belly all the way down, Superman, so start with fluttering the legs, slide your hands down, elbows in towards your body, lift up your chest, your head away from the floor, flutter those legs, now reach your arms, Bring them out to the side and then in. Reach out, out to the side and bring it in. Reach forward, out to the side and bring it in. And now push the floor away, plank pose right there. Lift up, downward facing dog. Plank pose right here and then lift up your hips, downward facing dog. Reach your heels towards the back of the mat. Plank to downward facing dog. Nicely done. Do it again. Plank. And downward facing dog. We're going to bring it up in a few seconds. Right here. Walk your feet in. And take it into a boxer shuffle. So pick those heels up. Curl your biceps. Right there. Relax your shoulders. Side to side. Turn the heels. Keep moving. So here we're going to get our heart rate up, gradually increasing, making moves a little bit bigger. All right, take it to a jump rope. So you're hopping on the balls of your feet. 
So not a, little, not a big hop, just a little hop. And watch how hard you land. Don't plunk down on the ground. Turn your rope. Good morning. Let's get that heart rate up. Keep moving. Hop on the balls of your feet. Right there. Good job. All right, keep going. Take it to a jumping jack right here. Press your heels down. Reach the arms overhead. Touch fingertips. Touch the thighs. Keep going. Press your heels down as you hop out and as you hop in. Keep going. Almost there. We've got one more move. High knee run. Ready? Pump the arms. Lift those knees. Keep going. Almost there. About 15 more seconds. Pump the arms. Elevating the heart rate. Breathe. Come on. You got it. Come on. Done. Nicely done. Get some water. Get a quick sip of water. Then we'll get started right away. So again, do you need to leave? All right, Maxwell, let's go. Get your chicken. Get your chicken. Get your chicken. Bye, Maxwell. Bye. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. Hybrid program today. We're gonna go strength, cardio, core. The strength part's gonna be 30 second rounds. The cardio part's gonna be 20 second rounds. Core 20 seconds. I will start the timer. Okay, so pick up your weight. Squat to pick it up. First thing, goblet squat. So I'm gonna put this weight together like this, so two 12s. Turn my feet out slightly, toes turned out, hug my elbows in, and then squat, push through. Squat, lift up. Push the floor away, lift up. So your feet are a little wider than your hips. Squat and lift up. Working both, working the body, working the glutes, hamstrings, quads, tap the top of your thighs, down and then up. Excellent, all right, lat pull. So lat pull, I want you to have your feet separated, sink your hips back, hinge forward, pull the weight up right there. So you can stagger your feet or feet like this. Pull it up. So this is also core training. Abs in, slight gaze forward, lift it up and down, lift. So I want you to pinch your blades towards each other as you lift up, right there. Pinch your blades and reach. Pinch the blades and reach. Good job, all right. Goblet squat. I'm gonna stick with my 12s. I'm happy here. I think I can get through eight rounds of this with my 12s. Arms hugged in, squat and lift, down, and then up, staying with the same move. Each move, four, round, four rounds each. A total of eight cycles. Push the floor away. Press your feet down into the ground. Not only your heels, but also your toes. Press it down. Good. Hold it up. All right, transition. Stand tall first. To separate your feet, shoulders rolled back, hinge forward, wait right here, pull it up. So from the side, if I stagger my feet, I'm really leaning over and bending my knees. You need to brace your core muscles, your abs. So think we're just below the belly button. Contract right there, pinch your blades up, lift and lower, lift up and lower, lift up and lower, do it again, up 
and lower, lift up and lower. Nicely done. So again, 30 second drills are sets on the straight part. When we go to the cardio set, we'll take it down to 2010, regular Tabata style, all right? So right here, push through a little bit longer. Please get your weight back into your heels and press down into your toes. It's kind of like you're gonna grip the floor by splitting your feet apart. Don't let your knees move. Keep them going the same direction as your toes. Excellent work. Lat pull. You got it? All right, hinge forward. Work against gravity. Get those glutes back there. Pinch the blades. Pinch the blades. Elbows up to the sides. Right there, pull up. And if you pull the elbows in closer to the sides and really pinch the blades, exaggerate that motion, you'll feel your lats turn on. Right there. Pull it up. Good job, come on. Lift it up. And stand, nicely done. Last round. First, bring it up, goblet squats. Ready, turn your toes out. Get this right, push through. Press into your heels, lift up, lower down. Maybe you can go a little bit lower. Keep the spine neutral, most important part. You don't have to go low here though, but you can extend your range of motion if you're pressing into your feet, your abs are braced, and your spine is neutral. So don't tuck the tailbone under at the bottom. Right there, good. Nicely done. Last lat row, or lat pull, so feet wide. Hinge forward, stick your butt back, weight in your heels, pull it up, abs in. Press your toes down too. Good job, pinch your blades, pull those elbows into your sides, right there. Come on, up and down, up, down, lift, squeeze, squeeze, lift up, abs in. Don't forget about that. Excellent work. First, strength circuit down, grab a very quick sip of water. See how we did, good. Calorie burn. Now a typical cardio, cardio set. No weights needed. First thing we're gonna do is, here's your modification, right? So touch and reach, touch and reach, touch are here. Go ahead and get right into it or keep it low. Hop in and out, reach up, touch, reach, lift. Hop in, hop out, turn your toes out slightly, like a sumo squat. Nicely done. All right, bring it down. So coming down to the mat, move forward, bear crawl. Here's the modification. Hand and knee moves at the same time. Crawl, abs in, core training right here. Okay, or with the knees, Move the hand and leg forward and back at the same time, coordinating that move. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Okay. Second round. Sumo jacks, low, right there, or high. Come on. Come on. Look up here. Don't look down too much. If you look down, look slightly forward. Come on. You got it. 20 seconds. Woo! All right. Bear crawl. Bring it down. So hands right here, right? And then move back. Got that? Lift your knees, hover forward and back. Quick. Quick, back, 
quick, quick, bring it up, excellent, third round of the two moves, you good, halfway through mark, here we go, low or high, come on, come on, hop out, lift up, you got it, you got it, Look forward, you guys. You're doing awesome. Stay with it. Excellent. Bring it down. Here's the crawl. Super good core training, you guys. So right here, go ahead. Hover. Quick. Quick. Don't lift your hips high. Don't drop the head. Come on. Simple movement, repeating, good job. Did you feel your legs right there? I did. <laughs> All right, let's do the last round of the two. You ready? Let's do it. Touch. Remember low, right here, high. Reach up, arms out to the side, a little harder. Come on, three, two, one. Woo. All right, bear crawl, last time. Bring it down. Okay, right here. Hover. Forward, quick move, quicker, harder, a little more athletic, building power, building strength. Bring it up. Whew. Nicely done. Quick sip of water. We'll go to core. Okay. How's that? I'm really good. Okay. So now let's bring it down to the mat. Ball. So this is what we're gonna do, two moves. Ball crunches to full plank. Tap your shoulders, okay? So lower down on the mat, right there. Hands beside, our hands behind your ears. Okay, so 20. Set, start. You guys ready? Starting session. Okay, so you need to bring your hands behind your ears, crunch in and tap your toes. Crunch, tap. So when you tap, I want you to brace your abs right there. Pull your elbows in, touch. Build and power, you guys. Strengthen the core. Crunch, lifting the shoulders and the hips. Good job, all right. Let's flip it over. I'm losing my mic. Flip it over, plank. Okay, ready? Tap, tap. Try not to let or work on stabilizing. This is an anti-rotation move. Tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder. Do it again. Tap, tap, breathe. One more. All right, ball crunches. You gotta keep that nearby, right? It'll roll away. <laughs> All right, knees squeeze in, touch, tap, touch, tap. Bring it in, do it again. Breathe. I know what we'll do, we'll hold the ball. <laughs> Not balance on our back, of course. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. Ready? Losing my mic. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. I'm just focusing on the ball, not moving. Tap, or not rolling away. Tap, keeping my focus for there. Right there, touch, touch, nice. All right, lie down. Crunches, halfway. 
Squeeze the knees in, hands behind the ears, tap the toes, elbows to knees. Tap, 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 lift your shoulders up, lift your hips up, tap, look up, chin off your chest, crunch, 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 nicely done, bring it up, here we go, ball, hands, legs out, plank, touch, Touch, move the ball right between the hands. Touch, just focusing right there. Don't drop the head. Touch, touch, touch the shoulder. Keep the hips level. Nicely done. Flip over. Lower down. Two more. Here we go. Tap, crunch, tap, crunch. Tap, crunch, tap. Tap the toes, point the elbows to your knees. Open up and close, open, close. Contract, contract. Do it again, nicely done. Last time, flip over. Ball, hands, legs up. Here we go. Tap, same movement. Tap, tap. So now you're better, you're more focused, you know what you're supposed to do. Touch the shoulder, keep your hips level. Touch, touch. Nicely done. All right, move that out of the way. Get some water if you need to. All right, so let's move on. Second time through. Second giant set. Let's call it a giant set. Strength, cardio, then core. We're going to add some time on. So the time add is going to be eight rounds, two moves alternating. It's a super set. So pick up your one heavy dumbbell and reach the leg in the back. Single leg RDL. Just get with me right there. If we get some time, that first one, always a little bit Interesting, finding your balance. I want you to bring the weight beside your shin. Not in front, just beside your shin. And I'm holding the weight in the opposite hand. So we'll do this and then do the other side. Single leg, RDL, and bring it up. Keep the weight near your shin. So don't reach forward or out. Good, let's change sides. The other thing, is you can bend your knee of the leg that's going back, okay? So, left leg, bend your knee, and then bring it up. Do it again. So I've just got a 15 pound weight. I could go to 20, but for the purposes of today, strength training, moderate, medium weight, medium rep range. So the rep range is probably about eight to 10 in this 40 seconds. Keep that going carefully. Reach, bring it up. So the next move is upper body shoulder press. Good job, all right, pick up your weight. So weight right here, I'm heavy, 15 pounds. So I can do probably 10 reps like this. Press up, so I'm gonna go slow. Elbows point in, palms in. Protect your shoulders. Straight up or turn your palms out. A little harder, loose grip right there. Lift up and down. Do it again. Up and down. Press, slow and controlled. Building strength, slow and controlled, heavier weight. Taxing the muscles. If you feel your muscles, you're probably working your fast twitch muscle fibers. Just doing a bunch of reps and not feeling your muscles, that's your slow twitch. Type one, so we wanna do both, right? Okay, so single leg RDL. This time, let's hold two weights. Ready, set up, standing leg. Woo, reach, 
Just notice what happens if you're losing your balance. So solidly stand in that and the foot on the floor is your arch collapsing in, taking you off balance. Press into the ball of your foot and the heel and the toes. Shoulders back. There you go. Leg goes back. You can bend that knee. And again, you want to bring the weights right beside the shin and lift up. Good? All right, let's do the other side. Standing leg, shoulders back, shoulder, chin neutral. Right beside the shin, and then lift up. So, in the past, maybe you reached a little forward of your shin. I just want you to be mindful of that. Reach down, and then back up. And right where you feel the hamstring, the stretch right there, that's where you stop. You don't have to go to the floor and touch. Just reach right in front of the shin and then bring it up. Good job, do it again. Lift it up. All right, shoulder press. Can you use this weight? Fix my top. Ready? Right here, lift up. Straight up and down. I'm gonna keep my palms facing in this round just to do it differently. So my elbows slightly forward, reach up. You smooth and controlled movement, stagger your stance or feet apart like this, right? Straight up beside the ears like this. If you're looking in a mirror, the weight should disappear over your head. So my arms go straight up, straight right beside my head. So in other words, don't push forward. Good job. All right, your choice. Can you do the next round with two weights or you wanna do one weight? Okay, so two weights, balance, leg is back, and then lift up. So let your hips or your leg go back, at the same time your chest goes forward, and then lift up. Shoulders back, here we go. And up, do it again. And lift, nicely done. We're gonna do four rounds, you guys. Up. RDL, leg is back. Nicely done, other side. You good? All right. I'm thinking about you. Shoulders back, have good form, protect your body. Leg goes back, reach right in front of the shin or beside the shin. Leg goes back, carefully and lift up. Balancing along the way, Woo. bring it up. Sometimes that happens, it's okay. Just bring it back, work. Work, bring it up. Do it again. Strengthen the glute. One more. Whew, bring it up. All right, we got another round. Overhead press. And then we got one more round to make four, okay? Straight up, ready? Straight up and down. Palms facing your ears, and then at the top, turn it out. How about that? So down, right over the shoulders, and I'm kind of lining up the weights right above my collarbone, collarbones, or just below the chin line, right there, or right at the chin line. Breathe. You got it, overhead press, strong move, push it up, press that weight. One more. All right, fourth round. Ready? Okay, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> Leg is back. Woo, get your balance. 
So leg goes back at the same time your chest goes forward, and then bring it up. And you'll see, I'm really bending my knee because I've found that my hip stays square to the floor if I bend my knee and flex my foot. There's no need to really straighten the leg. If you straighten the leg, it's hard to articulate the leg being, or the hip being square to the floor. So do it again. Whew, get your balance. Chest, leg, and then bring it up. Woo! Getting that. Okay, carefully. Hold your weight strong. Standing leg. And lean in. Reach, and then bring it up. So it's about strengthening that standing leg. That's why it doesn't matter necessarily if you bend that back knee. If your back knee is bent, your hips are gonna stay squared more. Shoulders back. If you straighten the leg, if you can articulate your toes pointing down, excellent. A little harder, carefully. Bend your knee, reach right in front of the shin or beside the shin and lift up. Do it again. Excellent. All right, final round, overhead press. So let's do an alternating overhead press, right? Right, left, if you can stay with this pace, stay with this pace, up, lift, breathe. Cardio coming up, up. Up, up, two moves, coming up, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. Let's increase the time by 10 seconds. Come on. Control the weight, control, one more. Woo! Put that down. Get a big sip of water. You good? <laughs> All right, grab some water. All right, shall we? <laughs> okay, first move, lateral bound to vertical leap. So the bounds are gonna be, we'll do three quick, and then we'll do a leap. So timer set, 30 seconds. Start. Starting session. All right, you ready? So, so just start like this. So you're bringing one foot beside the other foot like that, right? So there's your base move. Sweep the arms, that helps. Get on your mat. If your mat is slippery, don't do it on your mat. <laughs> so now do three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Now add a leap. Three, two, one, vertical leap. Three, bound, and leap. Go three, two, one, Vertical leap. Excellent, okay. Two moves. We're gonna come to plank. You can do it, make it a hop or a walk back. Four jacks, four, three, two. Hands on the floor, step back, four jacks. Four, three, two, one. Step or hop in and jack. Four, three, two, one. Hands, jack. Here we go, four, three, two, one, hop in, and jack, four, three, two, one, and jack on the floor, four, three, two, one, nicely done, okay, <laughs> all right, let's start right here, lateral bound, go three, two, one, three, add a vertical leap, three, two, one, one, up, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, lift. Bring the ankle right beside the other ankle, up, three, two, one. Whoo! 
Excellent. Okay, Jax to Jack Plank. I'll face you this time. Ready? Go. Four, three, two, one. Step back or hop back. Hop this. Jack Plank. Step or hop in. Jack. Four, three, two, one. Step or hop. Four of Jacks. Four, three. Don't lift your hips up high. Jack. Four, three, two, one. Plank jacks, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> halfway. Halfway mark. Lateral bound three. One vertical leap, go. Four, three, or three, vertical leap. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, use your arm on that leap. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one. One, up, three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, reach. Three, two, one, up. Nicely done. Okay, jacks four, plank jacks four. Okay, keep it lower high. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, plank jack. Careful, four, three, two, one. Jack, four, three, two, one. Plank jacks, here we go. Four, three, straight body, two, one. Jumpy jacks, four, three, two, one. Plank jacks, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Last one. Everybody having fun? Let's do it, okay? Here we go, vertical three, or lateral, vertical leap. Lateral bound, and then vertical. Three, two, quick, up, stay focused. Three, two, one, that's hard. Stay focused when you're tired, or whenever you're at that point of feeling the workout. We're almost there. Core coming up, and then we'll have a surprise, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, we've got one more. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. I'm glad I have a clock on me. Jack, four, three, two, one. Jacks, four, three, two, one. Plank jack, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And there we go. You good? Get some water. So walk over, get your water, stand up. core work. So call this the flip-flop. The flip-flop is bicycle to mountain climber. On the clock, 20 seconds, no ball needed. All right, so let's start, all right, on our end bicycle. Done. 20 seconds, okay? No, 30 seconds, what am I saying? We're increasing the time on the second round. Bring it down. Do your bicycle right, you guys. Come on, bicycle. Elbow to knee. Reach your legs straight. Abs in. Elbow to knee, chin off your chest, you guys. Look across the room when you pivot the shoulder. To come to full plank, you're gonna come forward. Stand on your, come into like malasana. And then step or hop back. Okay, all right, here we go. Up, there's your malasana, hands, hop. Okay, mountain climber, slow, right here. Don't go fast, I don't want you to injure your back. We're gonna do this, remember, eight rounds, so 
You wanna protect your body, and if you just make this a quick movement without hopping, it's just as effective. It's core training. Come on, keep your hips low. Call this a slow-mo mountain climber, all right? So step forward, malasana, reach, sit behind, lower down. <laughs> Be careful doing that. Here we go, touch, touch. Elbow to your knee and chin off your chest, across. Legs go straight, 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 straight. Ch shoulder across. You got it. Okay, now try that maneuver coming up. You're gonna roll up, come to your feet, malasana, and then hop back to plank. Okay? Don't, no fear. Up. Use your hands if you need to. Malasana. Hands. Hop. Okay? Here we go. Knees in. You got it. Press your fingers down. Breathe. Ha ha. We're over halfway now. Maybe not. After this. <laughs> Press into your fingers. Slow-mo mountain climber. All right, step to your hands. Right there. Malasana, reach, sit, and go back. Ready? Okay, legs in, here we go. Now we're halfway. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Do it again. Beautiful, come on. Shoulder across. Excellent. Straight leg, go out. Try the maneuver coming to the full plank, okay? Just try. Ready, roll. Hands, malasana, hands here, and then step or hop back. Okay, <laughs> go. Don't drop your head. Knees in, quickness, heart rate up. Come on, slight gaze forward. Press into the, shoulder, the hands, spread your blades apart. Straight body, knee in, knee in. You're doing great, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, step. Be widen your feet, put your hands back here. Lower down, there, okay? Last round, touch, touch, touch. Legs out. Reach the leg, extension. Shoulder across, elbow to knee. Chin off your chest, you're doing great. Come on, reach, reach, reach. You got it. Come on. Nicely done. Roll it up. Last one. Malasana. Right there. Hands on the floor. Step or hop. Ready? Go. Last one, you guys. Gaze slightly forward. Don't drop your head. Spread your blades apart. Press into your fingers. Come on, come on. Slow, con controlled, but quick, 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 quick. Nicely done. Brief child's pose. Relax. Nicely done, people. Friends, awesome work. All right, so. Now lift up, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the surprise. So the surprise is we're gonna do yoga. <laughs> we're gonna do, start off with movement based and then we'll hold and do a little bit of strength training in our yoga. And then we'll have, finish up with some seated yin type poses to open the hips 
and then also for shoulders, okay? So take off your shoes right here. It's nice to take those shoes off, right? Let's do that. And place them right there. I'm going to take my socks off because you want to feel the bottom of your feet. You want to feel the ground underneath you. All right. So movement base to start with. Come to the front of your mat. Sun salutation A. Inhale. If you've never done this before, let me teach you. Reach up and look up at your hands. Then you're going to bring the hands together down the center line of the body and fold over all the way with a flat back. Hands at the down to the floor. Look through your legs. Inhale, half lift. So you lift up halfway. Then exhale, plant your hands and step back plank. And as you're stepping back plank, go ahead and lower down to the mat. Put the tops of your feet down, cobra pose. Look forward. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. So feel all that stretching along the way. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to do that again. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands through the center line of the body. Fold over with a flat back. Lengthen and lift up halfway. Exhale, left leg back, right leg back. Plank, lower down. Cobra pose. Press into the floor, lift up the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward. Two more just like that. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. All the way over. Lengthen and look forward. Plant your hands. Step back plank. Lower down. This time, upward facing dog. Press into the top of your feet. Heels point up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. One more time, exhale, fold, over, lengthen and look forward, step back left, right, lower down, cobra or up dog. If you're in up dog, press into your hands and your feet, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, inhale, rise. Bring it up, standing and balancing, exhale, bring your hands down to your heart, and turn forward, bring your right foot behind you, heel to your glute, grab your foot. So standing, level your hips, and then your shoulders, right? Reach one arm forward, like you're gonna serve something. Bring the knee back. This is Lord of the Dance Pose. Reach the arm, straighten the right leg, reach the, the left leg. Or the right leg back behind you, point your elbow up and reach that foot high, as high as you can. Balancing focus work, bring it in. Ha, oh, nicely done. Set your foot down, let's change sides. Tap, bend, grab your foot right there, hips squared, you're right. Okay, reach, you doing okay? Palm up. Bring that knee back. You're pressing into your hand at the same time. Point your elbow up right there. Reach, reach, reach. Lift the arm, lift the chest, lift the heart. Reach the leg and then bring it in. Nicely done and set your foot down. Bring it to the front of your mat. Sun salutation B. Inhale, we'll hold poses here. Exhale, center line of the body, fold over. Lengthen, look forward, plant your hands, step back, right, left, lower down, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, lift your right leg up, turn your toes out and bend your knee, just opening up the hip right here, rotate, rotate the other way, extend the leg straight, step your right foot beside your right thumb, warrior one, so Press into the forward foot, lift up, reach up your arms from the sides, palms together, point your pointer fingers, clasp your fingers, draw the right side back, left side kind of forward, knee over ankle in the front. Beautiful job. All right, so now open up, warrior two. Three breaths right here. Warrior two, your arms 
straight like arrows. Fingers together like the point of an arrow. Knee over ankle in the front right there. Take one more breath in. Then exhale, sweep up. Reverse warrior, knee over the ankle in the front. Take another breath. Then come over side angle. Put your form on your thigh so your sides are straight right here. You don't want a C shape like this, right? It's not rounded, it's straight. And you're just lowering your body towards that forward leg. Maybe you can reach your fingertips for the floor. Now let's flow through this dancing warrior. Carefully reach up three times. Side angle, straight sides. Reach up one more time. Focus work, you guys. Nicely done. Reach back. And now windmill the hands to the floor. Place them on the floor. Step your right leg back. Plank, vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Lift up the heart. Press into your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Push the floor away. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Extend the leg straight. Look forward, find where you're gonna put your foot. Left foot beside left thumb. Spin your right heel down. Warrior one, inhale, arms up, abs in. Pointer, point, point your pointer fingers, cross your thumbs. Beautiful, take another breath. And then open up warrior two, straight arms. Look forward, look back. How, are you, how is that feeling? How's your body? All right, so now let's just reverse three breaths. Right here, hand behind the thigh. Reach up and over here, you are bending. There is a bit of a C shape in your sides. We're just flexing the side body. Now straight side body, lower the body towards the, so you can come here or here. Reverse, press your feet into the floor three times. Bring it back. And then over, bring it back, and over, one more time, bring it back, reverse, spin your hands down, or windmill to the floor, press into the floor, lift your left foot, vinyasa, last one, inhale, upward facing dog, lift your heart, exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful, walk your feet right to the center of the mat, malasana. Malasana. So toes turned out, bend your knees, sit towards your heels. Make sure your knees go the same direction as your toes, right? So the angle is really not that important, just comfortable. The main point here is to get some mobility and strength in the back, right? In this position, in this squatting position. Thumbs to chest, breathe. First yin pose, about a minute right here. You can do it. Watching the clock. Look forward. Mm -hmm. Breathing in and breathing out. Focus in on your breath. If you want to, close your eyes and just fill the body. Follow the breath of air into the lungs. Fully exhale. Breathe in, 15 more seconds, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, so now put your hands on the floor, and you're just gonna come onto your hands and your knees. Here we're gonna stretch the shoulders, okay? So I'll turn like this. We're gonna thread the needle, knees underneath your um, hips and your hands underneath your shoulders. And then you're gonna reach the right arm out to the right and thread the arm through. Now the other thing we can do is bring your left leg out and then reach the arm and thread underneath like that and then reach the arm. So the side that your leg is going out, that's the side that your arm is threading through. And then sneak the left arm around, touch the back, draw your elbow in and reach around and grab the thigh on the other side and breathe. Press into 
the foot that's on the floor. All right. So we're getting a good hip, inner thigh, shoulder, chest, back, stretch. Place your hand on the floor and lift up. Knees on the floor both. Now cat cow, round up your spine. Lower down cow. Round up spine, really round it up, press into the floor, and then lower down, belly towards the floor, and then round up. And then neutral spine, extend the opposite leg out, and then reach the left arm underneath, shoulder on the floor. So your fingers reach towards that leg that's out there on the side, and then reach the arm. Relax. Nicely done. Good job. Now slide your hand in, press into the floor, and lift up. Hands on the mat, and then feet on the floor, hands on your thighs. Lift all the way up and reach overhead, stretch overhead. Let's do a lateral lean to the side, up and over. Soften your knees, lean over to the other side, right there. Shift your hips. Inhale, reach, arms down. Give yourselves a big hand. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you later. Let me know if you did this live or did it by recording. Bye-bye.